Yes, I was flying. <laughs> I've seen many kids here. All kids have their favorite superheroes. Spider-Man, Captain America, Wonder Woman, the list is long. As a young boy, I never knew about those superheroes. My family didn't have a television. Growing up in a rural village, my friends and I ran around and enjoyed nature. One spectacular sight was the gray crown cranes, especially when we were collecting water for our families. We all wished we could fly like them. They were our superheroes. Guess what? My daughter, who is now four years old, she could make a sound of a crane before she could say any other word. <laughs> I later realized that cranes were nearly extinct in my country because of the demand for pet trade and as well the loss of their habitat. So I decided to go and save my superhero. In 1994, when the first Whitley Award was given, my country, Rwanda, was suffering from the dark genocide. There was no hope for life for many people, also for wildlife. I was only nine years old. If you had told me that in 24 years I would be standing here receiving the Whitley Award, I would have said, no, it's not possible. The hope of life for many Rwandans was reduced to a second, a minute, if longer, an hour. Growing up post-genocide, I wanted to help rebuild my country, and conservation is how I chose to contribute. The Whitley Award is a huge boost to our team and our effort to realize that dream. So thank you to Whitley Fund for Nature and to all our other supporters for helping us make a difference. Thank you. <laughs>